When will I die? A question that everybody asks themselves at one point or another. But do you actually want to know the answer? Well, it doesn't matter because today we actually find out. What is going on everybody? I am Brandon, aka The Frustrated Gamer, and welcome to the When Will I Die test. I basically googled when will I die test, and this is the first thing that came up. Guys, this test will tell me with 100% certainty and accuracy down to the second of when I will die. And nothing makes a website look more legit than having one of these big green start buttons in the middle of the page. And we all know that if I press that big green start button, I'm probably gonna get a virus and my computer might catch on fire. All right, let's jump right in. Let's see what this says. There is always something we can improve in our lives. We understand some questions might not be easy to answer, but if you wanna know the truth, it's necessary to answer truthfully. Oh man. It sounds like they're really going to have some hard-hitting questions today. It is a fact that the average female life expectancy is 79 years and the average male is 71 years. Take this quiz to find out when you will die. We will calculate your life expectancy once all questions are answered. All right, I'm getting a little nervous. Every time I used to take quizzes and tests back in school, I'd always get scared and worried that I didn't know any of the answers. Select your gender. All right, I think so far, I think so far I can answer this question with accuracy. Male, don't worry, we do not store this data. Female, don't worry, we do not store this data. None of the above, don't worry, we do not store this data. Or, it's a secret. But they don't say that they don't store that data. So if you click it's a secret, they might store your data. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see more of these online quizzes, don't forget to leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas. I actually just took a mental age quiz like two or three weeks ago. Check out that video. The answer that I got is actually pretty funny. All right. I think this one I can answer. I'm going to go male and I do not want my data stored. Okay. So far, so good. The second question. Again, something that I think I can answer. What is your birthday? Well, for those of you that don't know my birthday, you're about to find out. The year was 1992. I know I'm an old man. Everybody laugh at me. The month was... Does anybody know? Everybody at home, does anybody know my birthday? I've made a couple birthday videos. Uh, so see if anyone's like a true TFG fan. All right. It's, it was June for those of you that didn't know. And then the day is 12. So June 12th, 1992 is the day I was answered. I have entered it above, don't worry, they will not store that data, or it's a secret and they will store my data. Well, I don't want my data stored, so I'm going to say that I entered it above. Which of the following best describes the place you currently live in? A megalopolis? I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming it's like a large city, and then we have a small city, a village, a mountain area, a suburb, an exurb, or a county. Well, I live in a county, but I'm also in the suburbs of Philadelphia. There's also a village right down the down the street, and there's also mountains near my house. So I have no idea which one to answer here. I know it's not Megalopolis. I don't think I'm saying that right, but whatever. I'm gonna go with a suburb because I live in the suburbs of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. Uh, so I'm gonna go with suburb, final answer. How would you describe the shape of your figure? Well, that's awful intruding. I take offense to that. I'm slim, fit, average, pear-shaped or overweight? Uh, I don't know what pear-shaped means. Does that mean I'm skinny on the top and I have a big butt? I think that might be what that means. <laughs> I don't know. I'm either, I would say I'm either slim or fit. I think I used to be a little bit more fit, uh, but you know, I haven't been going to the gym as much as I should be. Maybe I'm eating a couple extra bowls of ice cream. Maybe I'm playing a few extra video games than I should. So I'm going to go with slim. I don't think I'm overweight. You know what? I'm going to back up. You guys be the judge. Am I, am I fit? Ugh. Or am I just slim? I'm going to go with slim. I think I weigh about 140 pounds. So I'm going to go slim. Final answer. I don't know. I, I think this is going well so far. Do you suffer from any kind of chronic diseases? No. Oh, they're not telling me that they're not going to collect my data here. Are they collecting my data? I don't want them collecting my data on chronic diseases. Okay, I, I think it's funny that they said they didn't collect their data, but now they just forgot about it. Uh, yes, such as chronic paragnetius, chronic rhinitius, chronic gastritius, diabetes, high blood pressure, asthma, and so on. Wow, if someone has all of those, my goodness, the fact that they're still alive is a miracle. Uh, well, my grandmother had diabetes. 
Uh, but I don't think I have any of those so far. Knock on wood, I hope I don't. My girlfriend told me that taking this test is bad luck. So if I show up dead in the next week, you guys know that that was true. Uh, maybe, possibly hereditary. Maybe not. My family, my family has no, no, I can't talk. <coughs> See, the quiz is already starting to kill me. Look at that. Maybe not. My family has no known hereditarily diseases. I'm going to go no. I don't I don't think I have any of these. Okay, what types of foods do you normally eat? Spicy and greasy? Yeah. Sweet slash sour? Yeah. Salty? Yeah. Mild flavor? Not really. And I, I <laughs> and I think the mild flavor one is probably the one that would make you live the longest. All right, I would say for the most part not spicy and greasy. I would say I'm either the sweet, sour or salty. I love my sweets. Like, I'm, I'm a sweet tooth. I love ice cream, candy, chocolate, especially now that it was Christmas recently. I have so much chocolate. But I also love salty. I'm gonna go so... I'm gonna go sweet. I'm going... <laughs> I'm gonna go sweet. I took a complete 180 there. How many more do we have? I don't even know how many questions this thing is, but I don't know. If it's a really quick quiz, I might take another one and compare the answers. I think that could be funny. Like, take two when will I die quizzes, and if they give me, like, the exact same date... Then let's just say I'm gonna like hunker down that day in my house and not go out anywhere. All right, which of the following best subscribe or describes your occupation? Well, I used to be an accountant. Now I'm a professional YouTuber. So if they have professional YouTuber on there, I will be very impressed. Uh, my work is mostly physical. No, I kind of wish it was. My work is mostly mental. Um, I mean, if you count playing Gary's mod with beautiful OB as mental, then the answer to that one's yes. I am a student. I am a researcher. None of those. I mean, what is that? Like, <laughs> the answer is none. Like, clearly my job is not physical. My job is really not mental. I'm not a student and I'm not a researcher. I mean, the answer is, is E, none of the above. But don't worry, they'll collect my data on that answer. Uh... I guess I have to go mental, right? That's the only one that kind of makes sense. I guess I'll go mental. I wish they had like sedentary, right? Like that would have been one that made sense. All right, let's move on. How do you usually get to school slash work? Um, I walk because I work in my house. So, you know, people ask me sometimes, do you hit a lot of traffic on the way to work? And I tell them, well, you know, sometimes I have to walk downstairs to get my bowl of cereal. Then I have to walk all the way upstairs to bring my bowl of cereal to my desk. Sometimes my girlfriend's standing in the way. And, oh my goodness, guys. It, it sometimes, from the moment I wake up to the moment I get to the office, it might take me three minutes. It might take me up to three minutes, which compared to my old job, for those of you that don't know, I quit my job about three or four months ago. I used to be an accountant and I had an hour and a half commute each way. So I was in the car for three hours a day. That's 15 hours a week I was in the car. That was a killer. So I'm going to say I work at home. Oh. So I just did all of that. I was just yelling and screaming and lashing out for the last two minutes. And they had a I work at home option. Well, that's just embarrassing. How often do you play sports? See, this is another thing. Four years ago, every day. I play tennis. I go to the gym. I play basketball. Ever since I started YouTube, people think that YouTube is an easy thing, right? Oh, I'm just putting out 15-minute videos every day. He must have so much free time. YouTube takes a lot of time. Like, each video that I make takes probably about five hours to either film and edit and post and make the thumbnail. So I don't play as much. I would say two to three times a week. I am in a tennis league, and I try to work out as much as I can. So I will say two to three times a week, but I, I'm trying to bump those numbers up a little bit more. Do you participate in extreme sports? Uh, no, I'm not even going to elaborate on that. I'm a very boring person. How often do you smoke? I don't smoke. I never have smoked, so I'm going to go no. Okay. How often do you drink alcohol? Well, I'm over the age of 21, but I really don't drink alcohol. I don't know. A couple of my friends like alcohol. I'll go to parties. I'll hang out with my friends, and I usually just drink a glass of water, or I'll get like a Coca-Cola or something like that. But I, I mean, I, I don't want to say I've never drank. I, I probably drink maybe once a year. I'll have like a beer or two. I guess I'll go occasionally because it's not never. I'll go occasionally. How much time per day do you spend sitting? Um, 
Man, I need to get me one of them stand-up desks. Like, I see a lot of, like, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. They have one of those desks that will actually rise, and they could film a video or edit a video while standing. I really need to get me one of them because I sit a lot. I think it's probably more than six hours a day. Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, I'm sitting right now. I'm going to be sitting for the next two hours. I'm going to go more than six hours. Oh, I know that's a bad one. That one, that answer right there probably just lowered my life expectancy like 10 years. How do you act in problematic situations? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm not even going to look at the answers. I'm just going to say I panic. Like, if you guys watched, I think it was yesterday, I did a funny Minecraft mod where every 30 seconds Minecraft tries to kill me. And oh my goodness, guys, I panicked. Like, I would have like 30 seconds to get like from one room to the other. And I would be so nervous and I'd be clicking and panicking that I wouldn't even get there. Oh, yep, there it is. I tend to panic. I display high amounts of aggression. Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> like someone threatens you and you just punch him in the head or I remain calm. Yeah, I'm going to go panic there. Panic is my final answer. I think that's going to lower my life expectancy too because they're going to be like, hey, if he goes to Africa on a safari on vacation and a lion starts chasing him, he's probably going to panic, run around in circles over and over, trip and fall and then get eaten by the lion. So yeah, that, that wasn't a good answer for me. What is your outlook on life? Now, this is something that has changed since I became a full-time YouTuber, right? I don't want to sound all gushy here, but I was very pessimistic when I used to work as my accounting job. I was very down, very, very, I don't know, just in a bad mood all the time. But now, I think I'm a little bit more, I'll say, ooh, that was, I'm, I'm getting a cold right now and I can't talk and I think this quiz is making it worse. I would say I'm a realist. I would say I'm not quite optimistic yet, but I've gotten away from being a pessimist. I'm going to go realist. Final answer. How often do you visit your doctor? I mean, if you're counting dentist and doctor and all those things, probably a few times a year. Like I go to the dentist twice a year. I go to my doctor maybe once a year, but it's definitely not frequently. I'll go seldom. Is seldom more or less than once a year? Because I want to go a little bit more than once a year, but not every month. I'm going to go seldom. I think that's more than once a year. I don't know. How long do you sleep at night? Here's another thing. See, you guys, I love taking these online quizzes because you guys always ask me a million questions. You always say, hey, Brandon, can you do a Q&A? Can you tell us more about your life? Well, these online quizzes tell you more about my life. A few months ago, guys, I was sleeping less than four to six. Like I was sleeping two to three hours because I was working my full-time job as an accountant. I was commuting 15 hours a week and I was doing a full-time YouTube channel. I was going to sleep at like 3 a.m. every night, and then I'd wake up at 6 a.m. to go to work. So I was sleeping probably like two to three hours a night. But now that I'm full time, I try to get at least seven hours a night. I usually try to go to sleep maybe around 11 or 12, and I'll wake up about 7, 7.30. How long do you usually use your mobile phone every day? Now, this is something that I'm not that bad at. I'm really not that bad at. Um, But hold on real sec. Uh, let me check a text message uh, real quick. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm just making a bad joke. No, I'm really not on my phone that often. I'm on my computer all the time, obviously, because it's my job now. But my phone, I would say less than two hours. I'm going to go less than two hours there. I'm really not on my phone too often. Are there any heritable diseases in your family? Heritable. I've never heard of that word before, but I think it probably means like hereditary, like diseases that run in your family often. Um, I mean... Not really. I think my family, we've had a couple people that have passed away of cancer recently, which has been not great, obviously. My grandmother, I think I mentioned, had diabetes type 1. But other than that, not really. Like, we don't have a constant stream of heart disease or I guess obesity kind of runs in my family. I'm going to go no. I really don't think so. All right, this is the last question. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Does that actually affect your life expectancy? Wait, hold on a silly second. I want to I want to look something up real quick. Oh my goodness gracious. Left-handers typically die at the age of 66. The trend was seen in both men and women. Right-handed women tend to live five years longer than left-handed women. Right-handed men live 10 years longer than left-handed men. What? Like, why? If anybody knows why, let me know in the comments because that's fascinating. Well, luckily, I'm right-handed. I'm glad I'm a right-handed man because for men, it was a 10-year difference. Holy nutcrackers. All right, I'm going to go right-handed. Oh, here we go. It's throwing me right in. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Keep going. Keep going. 
evaluating 48 years, 54 days, 8 hours, 33 minutes, and 5 seconds. Oh no, now 4. Now 3. Okay, so the timer is clicking. Wait, that's a long time, I feel like. Wait, so I was born in 1992. So that's 8 years, 68 plus 8. Oh, never mind. That's not that old. It's like 75, 76 years old. I was hoping to at least crack 80. I mean, again, like I said, I, I feel like I could maybe live a slightly healthier life, but I feel like I can make it to at least 80, especially this time of year. All right, guys. Well, what does it say? February 9th, 2068. Hey, that's funny. February 8th is the day I started my YouTube channel. So maybe I will be celebrating my... Oh my goodness gracious. I don't even know. Uh, What's, what's 2017? No, 2018... Oh, it'll be my 50th anniversary. Okay, I know how I died out. Everybody at home, I know exactly how I died. That will be my 50th anniversary of the Frustrated Gamer channel. So clearly, I'm going to do something so outrageous for you guys. I might go skydiving. I might jump off of a bridge. I'm going to do something so crazy and end up dying the next day because of it. So we all know how I'm going to die now. Guys, I'm going to end the video there. Don't forget to smack that like button. Like I said, hit the subscriber button if you guys are new. And let me know in the comments if you have any more ideas for videos like this. These are really fun and you guys get to learn a lot about me. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next video.